Hello, this is Matthew with Technomicon Media, and this week on Technomicon.com, we're looking at Skyrim Revisited. Uh, a lot of things have, have occurred with Skyrim in the past couple of months, and uh, the primary uh, thing, of course, is patch 1.5, and um, as well as a high-res uh, texture pack, both available through Steam. Uh, and as well as I wanted to kind of go into the extensive modding community for Skyrim. So really what we're seeing here is, is two mods, you know, plus the, the two updates for uh, Skyrim. And the, the two mods we're looking at is, of course, just a simple kind of garment mod. Uh, this is Skyrim Cloaks. And I just think it's an awesome little mod. You know, there's really nothing to it. You just are able to, to produce and, and equip cloaks as well as a, a realistic lighting mod. So if the sky and the, the coloration seems a little more vibrant, uh, that's what what's going on here. So the cool thing about this mod is it creates a pretty dramatic lighting effects for, for the various times of the day. Uh, for players familiar with, with regular kind of lighting in Skyrim, uh, there really isn't a lot of difference between between the various times of the day and um, I just think the this mod's great for for giving you kind of a sense of that uh, of course it's it's not without its negative points uh, nighttime of course I think the nighttime in the cities looks looks pretty awesome it, it, it feels really believable and in, in certain situations it, it feels very spooky and um, the the downside of course is is navigating through the outdoor maps and terrain if you don't have a torch uh, or mage light, uh, it's it's pretty tricky to get around, and you know there's the the plus side and the negative side where it gives that added RP value of of kind of being, you know, leery of of nighttime traveling and whatnot. So just wanted to kind of give you guys another look at uh, some of the other cities and how how well they're rendered now and how well the, the lighting's done and and everything so involved exciting. in it. So of course, what we have here is is just some more city scenes. This is this is solitude, and I uh, just wanted to give some more uh, examples of of how well the cities are rendered, as well as the uh, performance. I I find it to be pretty solid, uh, not too much hitching at all. And uh, you know, for those uh, curious, I'm I'm running the game at the high settings. Uh, I couldn't find much difference at the ultra settings, so I just left it at high and um, was very happy with the with the outcome. So here we have the outdoor environment and uh, wanted to show you guys how that's improved uh, for for people familiar with Skyrim things in the in the far off distance uh, sometimes had rendering issues and they've corrected that that quite a bit in terms of how far in the distance things are, are, are rendered properly and and, in turn, and they still have some issues with with really far off objects being being blocky and uh, without their kind of you know skins and models and whatnot but but all in all it, it, it's a huge improvement and um, you know this of course is still running with the uh, the lighting mod and um, just wanted to kind of give some background on the um, mods for Skyrim. You know, up until the the, the high the high-res texture pack that that, that came out uh, from the developer, there was about eight or nine different mods that I used to to create this the same effect. And um, as soon as I downloaded the uh, the pack through Steam and and ran kind of both, you know, either or as well as one on top of the other. Uh, I think that going with the uh, with the high-res texture pack from the developer is the way to go, both uh, in terms of the quality and in terms of the performance. I found was uh, was was much better, you know, probably just because it's optimized and, and, and coded a little better. So anyhow, uh, what I'm showing here is is I just wanted to go through the first dungeon and, and show some different lightings as well as some, some some of the new kill animations that are coming out. So of course uh, that was the kill animations a little buggy sometimes uh, more than sometimes uh, often it, it just doesn't show the animation and bigger problem than that is just when you're attacking a lot of small 
hit point type targets, uh, and you get kind of this this animation lock where you're it, it, it does the kill animation on, on all of them, so you're just kind of sitting there for, for five or ten seconds while it plays out all these different kill animations, and unfortunately there's no way to turn it off because even though it's cool to see now and again, it, it, it seems to happen too regularly for, for my taste, and um, you know, that's, that's how I feel about the, the new kill animations. So of course I'm um, going into the, the starter dungeon just to kind of give you guys a, a feel for, for, for the look of the, the re revised rendering as well as to show you how the, the lighting mod affects dungeon crawling. Uh, I think it does a, a really good job of, of creating a, a much more spooky, you know, dangerous feel. And uh, I'll show that to you guys in a, in a second after the, the dreaded loading screen. That, of course, is uh, one thing that's still prevalent in the game, unfortunately, is these uh, excessively long kind of loading screens. And uh, so here we have uh, Bleak Falls, uh, the first dungeon. And, you know, like I was explaining, the, uh, the, the mod just takes out all of this kind of environmental bloom that, that, that kind of lights everything uniformly. And uh, this is pretty much crawling with, with the mod on and without a torch or any sort of lighting. And I, I'm going to switch to a torch in a, in a minute just so you guys can see what that looks like. It, it really, it's not necessary in dungeons. It's, it's definitely necessary for outdoor traveling. Uh, if, if you're going to go around and, and mine stuff or, or try to, you know, gather herbs, it's, it's going to be pretty difficult uh, just because. So, um, also an, another mod that, that I use that is kind of difficult to, to tell in this you know, video is a is a sound mod. I use Sounds of Skyrim, and it adds to the, when you put these two together. You know, the the realistic lighting mod as well as the the Sounds of Skyrim. It it adds a lot more kind of ambient, you know, spooky effects to to the gameplay experience. And that's really the the two that that I recommend if if you're just looking to enhance the the, the vanilla experience of the game without kind of you know, introducing you know, too many too many new items and and kind of unbalancing the the content. So of course, there's a a lot of uh, a lot of emphasis on the uh, lighting mod as as the mods that I use. But in in the actual article, I I, I list all the the other various mods that that I utilize and, and how to get them, but main fo reason I focus on is it just really uh, makes the gameplay so dramatically different while while kind of retaining the essence of the game in terms of just the the overall kind of experience of 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 these deep deep you know dungeons dark dungeons to to kind of crawl through is 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 much different than than the uh, vanilla experience of the lighting so one of the um the f the few kind of content mods that that I utilize is is called deuce mons and uh what deuce mons is is uh is basically a um, a mod that allows the players to to acquire a castle or a keep or, or whatever you want to you know however which way you want to describe it but this is deuce mons and i think they did a really the the guy that developed this mod did a really good job of implementing it into the world map uh how you you uh you locate uh deuce mons uh on your way to high harothgar and there's a there's a pretty difficult dragon uh guarding it and I think I was about level 16 or 17 when I was able to, you know, take him down and didn't have any problems with that. I, I used a lot of, you know, consumables and whatnot. So this is the interior of Deuce Mons. This is sort of like the entryway hall. And there's, there's various NPCs around. And uh, there, there are a lot of sort of dwelling mods out there. Uh, various types of, of player dwellings and I, I just feel that this one's the the, the most well done uh, it includes a, a lot of explorable areas a lot of rooms a lot of storage areas and 
and I, I really like the way they do the storage because the the mod creator labeled all the various types of uh, storage devices for for what you can use them for and you know so it, it's very very easy to organize your various objects and this is kind of the the smelting room the the, the crafting room for uh, blacksmithing and it, it has everything you're gonna need in terms of both storage and the uh, you know tools that you're going to use like workbenches and sharpening stones and uh, forges and smelting and and all that so that's all there and uh, I, I will point out that that this mod kind of you know doesn't play well with the um, with the uh, with the realistic lighting mod just because the uh, the creator of the mod didn't take that into account you know which makes sense you he was he was developing it based on bloom lighting and there isn't a, an, a lot of uh, kind of torch based or candle based lighting in, in Dusmon so some areas are gonna are gonna seem really dark and that's uh, you know kind of you know the price you pay if you use that mod so uh, talking more about uh, Deuce Mons, there's a uh, there's three primary areas in in the castle uh, one is is this area that's sort of like the 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 keep slash living quarters mm -hmm. and it, it contains uh, various rooms for storage tons of mannequins and um, you know master bedroom a vault and an area that you can you can use to store uh, dragon shrine Same dragon cool. priest mass so uh, What's what's cool is is the the keep itself doesn't include a lot of 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 items. You know when when you look at those storage chests and they're filled with with uh, with jewels or bags. Those are those are basically just to show you what they can be used to store. They don't they don't contain a lot of items. So the the game isn't really you know unbalanced by by having this mod. There it, the the keep does come with some items that. Uh, that you can use, but I didn't feel that it was that it was a big problem. It didn't make crafting too easy, and so of course uh, Deuce Mons has a lot of other areas. Uh, there's sort of like a a botanist area, and then of course the enchanting and uh, alchemy stations. And this is a great example of you know ways to organize items in in a visual manner. Uh, here's like an insect jar and you can place all your insect parts there and just good visual cues to to organize items if you want to do it that way and uh, just a great mod all around guard might get nervous a woman approaches with her weapon drawn And once again, this is Matthew for Technomicon Media. For the full article on Skyrim Revisited, uh, visit our website at www.technomicon.com. And once again, thank you for watching.